how to be disciplined in a world full of distractions. So that's actually today's question. And when I first heard that, two things came to mind. First was the history of distraction. Over the past 100 years, how much distraction has really unfolded in all of our lives worldwide. But then also, I started picking apart that word distraction. Just consider what does it mean to be distracted? Like we know that when you're on track with something, you're on the right pace and path on track, but to be distracted. So let's talk about the history of distraction real quick. We only need to go back to 1919 because 1919 was the year of the first radio broadcast. Prior to that, there was no broadcast of mass media into the minds of the people, the masses. After the World Wars, during the World Wars, not only this, did this technology burst onto the scene with broadcast radio, which is just the beginning, right? Because now I'm broadcasting here with you. It's like broadcast video, we live in a totally different world. But just the radio, just being able to turn on a dial and get a transmission, if you hold the antenna right, has pumped into our soft heads the most potent types of distraction, propaganda because propaganda is a form of distracting someone. But with that word distraction, there must be attraction. So what were we tracking before all this distraction, say prior to 1919? And so what were we attracting based on the tract that we were following prior to the propaganda machines that entertain us today? And this is where all the distractions come from and all the propaganda that molds our minds that makes us so stupid that college professors don't know how to define a woman, right? Dis think about distraction. We're way the fuck off track. So what were we tracking before all this distraction? And I couldn't help but to think about the four quadrants of our psyche as men. We are kings, warriors, magicians, and lovers. And those four aspects that have been completely destroyed in our society probably looked a lot like body, being fit, being strong, being useful, in work, in business, in agriculture, spiritual disciplines. People went to church back then. There's been like a 60% drop off over the past 100 years. People probably spent more time in prayer. So eating better food, having better health, using their bodies, moving their bodies, having a prayer rule, real spiritual life, having spiritual disciplines, attending mass on Sundays, reading the Bible, whatever it was as a American man or a Western man in terms of your spiritual development. And then also family. Marriages worked a hundred years ago. Families stayed together. Suicide rates were less a hundred years ago. Depression, anxiety, broken homes. All the fucker we have in our world today was a lot less a hundred years ago. Do you think it might have something to do with the dis? Traction. I'll let you decide. Now your question is, yo E, what do I do about all this distraction? How do I remain disciplined amongst all this distraction? Well, I think we need to ask ourselves, what do we commit ourselves to? Because if we live passively, the distraction will just take us wherever the puppet masters want us to go. You saw how that worked out in 2020. Most people are puppets. But in those four areas, fitness, business, women, faith, body, being, balance in business, king, warrior, magician, and lover, how are you being a disciple of that development in your life? Because I think the more that we have traction in those four areas, our body, our business, our relationships, and then faith. You got your hands full with that, buddy. Those four things. We, if we seek to master that, then all the distractions pale in comparison to what we will attract when we do those great things done.